Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that deals with solving an equation. Here we have x to the power of 4 plus x plus 1 plus x to the power of 8 plus 1 over 2x equal to 0. We know that x belongs to real number and we are going to find x here. Let's start and see how we are going to solve this. To simplify this, I'm going to first write the equation that I have as x to the power of 5, 2x to the power of 5 actually, plus 2x to the power of 2, plus 2x, plus x to the power of 8, plus 1, over 2x equals to 0. Remember, when I have a fraction like a over b equals to 0, I can say that a needs to be 0. Based on this, I'm going to write what I have here as x to the power of 8 plus 2x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Now you see that I can rewrite this as x to the power of 8 plus 2x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 2 plus another x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. The reason that I divided these two into 1 and 1 is now I have an identity here. And obviously from this side I can take out x to the power of 2. So let's do that. I'm going to write it as x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 6 plus 2 times x to the power of 3 plus 1 plus x plus 1 to the power of 2 equals to 0. Now, if you focus on the first term, you can see that this is also an identity. And I have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 to the power of 2 equals to 0. Now, let's focus on this term that I have here. For this term, you can say that basically I can rewrite it as x to the power of 2 times x plus 1, x to the power of 2 minus x plus 1, and now we have this power of 2, so I need to put 2 and then another 2 here, plus x plus 1 to the power of 2 equals to 0. Now, you see that I have a common term. Obviously, I'm going to write it as x plus 1 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 2 minus x plus 1 to the power of 2. And then I have 1 here. And now I need to have this as 0. Now, Focusing on the second term, you can see that I have this 2 and I have this 2. So the whole thing that I have here is going to be positive. It cannot be 0. So the only thing that I can have is the first term can be 0, which basically means that x plus 1 is 0 or x is negative 1. And we found the answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. I hope to see you in the next video.